Hi guys, welcome back to my video. Today's tutorial is going to be about this red number. This is my go-to look. Like, it's literally no makeup, this look, and pink. Although this falls with pink because this, this looks like pinkish red. So, yeah, it's the same. But anyways, I love this look because it's very easy to create. And it's just, it makes your skin just glow. And it makes you feel happy. Like, I feel very happy. I just feel like free and just like, I don't know why I'm doing these hands. It's like, oh, what? <laughs> anyways, um, so I'm excited to do this tutorial for you guys. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'm also going to be answering a few questions questions so it will be like a get ready with me Q&A type of video and yeah that's about it so without further ado let's get started let's get started I have my wine because since we're gonna be spitting some tea or well, not tea we're gonna be spitting some wine by the way guys I just did my whole face off camera because I don't want to waste time especially because uh, get get ready with me get to know me tag so it's gonna be long i don't want this video to be an hour and a half and i talk a lot i love talking so let's just miss a step to save time so you guys can get to know me more and the ratchet dogs are being ratchet again with my eyes obviously because my whole face is done i just haven't done powder but that's fine we'll do it after i love this eye color this is just my go-to so my everyday look i think my everyday look is no makeup then um no makeup makeup actually no makeup lately i haven't been wearing makeup at all no makeup then afterwards pink eyeshadow like a pink look and then red or actually reds then pink i'm gonna be using i looked this up it's actually i think her name is sophia so i'm gonna be using the sophia palette by revolution makeup revolution and i'm also gonna be using my nude huda beauty palette as well so i'm gonna be using the two because i feel like it has it has the red that I want, but what I am going to do, because these reds are a bit like orangey, they have some orange tone underneath. I'm also going to be using my MAC Frankly Scarlet. I'm not going to show you how that looks, because it looks ratch. So just trust me, okay? Or I'll just put a picture of how the MAC Frankly Scarlet, I hope it is Frankly Scarlet. I'm just going to show you how that looks like. But anyways, let's start with the eyes. As guys, you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to be using my inflatable, um deep walnut no i like cocoa um what is why am i using my words you see it's the wine guys i'm gonna be using my infallible cocoa concealer just around my eyelids and while i do that i'm gonna start the q a let me just look for the question i hate it when you look something up and you go on the website and there's a whole article and then only you have to scroll all the way down and then you get what you need please tell us when you were born so i was born on the 11th of february 1992 two, two, two. Uh, what's your full name and are you proud of it my full name is Susan, suzanne pierrat mukendi and of course i'm proud of the fact hello okay funny story though it's not actually funny but annoying f story about uh oh by the way guys i'm just blending concealer because i i wanted to kind of like just be plastered on my face that way the pigment just kind of pops even more and you know what i mean so anyways as i was saying the only annoying story about um suzanne in high school in my previous videos i don't know which one it was but i did say that i was bullied and let me just quickly tell you guys what i'm going to be doing so for as a transitioning shade i'm not going to use too much of this shade because i just want it to be a full red sh red look but i still want to have kind of some texture not texture basically some depth to it so i don't want it to be a flat red i'm going to be using what color is it it's danger from the self palette i don't want to show you guys my um my fingers because my fingers look busted but i'm going to be using the shade over here people used to make fun of me a lot used to always get my name wrong and always call me susan 
and I hate the name Susan sorry for any Susans out there but I just don't like the name I don't enjoy it by the way guys I'm just gonna leave this much shade I'm not gonna put too much because like I said I want it to be different shades of red and this is like a more dark plummy color so anyways yeah so I used to be called Susan I didn't like the name Susan for me I just I was not happy about it and they always used to do it on purpose and for some reason primary school kids were dumb in a sense that they were like oh your name is Susie Susan Susan which means like your helper I don't know why they thought well for them they thought every helper or yeah every helper you had their name was Susan so it was stupid like where's the logic in that also if you guys watch days of our lives there was a character named Susan so they always used to make fun of me and call me that so it was tough time but I think I have thick skin so I don't really let people get under my skin like I'm very tough so well I'm tough to a certain extent like if I would say if it's someone I deeply care about like anything that they say that's negative it will really hurt me but if you're irrelevant, you're not my friend, you like basically someone crossing the street, like no one to me, I won't be touched by it. So yeah, hold on guys, I have to actually get my Max, Mac Fix Plus because I have to wet my breath. Yeah, so that's the only problem I had. Oh, by the way guys, I'm using the color Raw in my Huda Beauty palette. Probably that was very. I'm sorry, guys. I am sorry. Okay, next question. Um, are you named after someone? If yes, then after whom? I'm named. Well, not named after someone. My second name is named. Uh, my, it comes from the doctor that obviously got me out of my mama's womb. So yeah. Um, where are you from, and are you proud of it? I'm. I was born. I'm kind of half raised in. Brussels, Itabek, Itabek, I hope I'm saying it right. I can't even say the name of I was born properly. Like, what are you saying? <laughs> so, yeah, I was born in Belgium and then, oh, these dogs. And then we moved to South Africa. But my parents, I think I'm like, I would, I see myself as Congolese and Belgian, but more Congolese because I know more of the Congolese culture. My parents are Congolese and um, Belgium, like I know bits of it, which is sad because I would, I want to know more of where I came from and obviously like just know where I came from. <laughs> and do you love playing any sports or just watching it? I love CrossFit guys. Anyone that knows me, oh this has fallout. out. Anyone that knows me knows I am a huge CrossFitter. Well, I used to be, then I took a break actually, right? Right now I'm taking a break. Um, I think what I'm going to do, I'm just going to lighten this shade a bit and I'm going to be going back to my selfie palette and I'm going to be using the color Pumpkin. It's like an orangey, it's a very orange color. I don't know why it, it just, it's so exposed on camera. But yeah, I'm going to be using that and just take out all the fallout. Yeah, so basically, um, I just took a break from CrossFit. Oh, that looks pretty. Oh yeah, I love this. I love this and I'm obviously going back and forth then I'm gonna go back to my nightmare what is it no no not nightmare danger color and I'm just gonna go back up top just to define that shade a bit more that we use yeah, so I'm a CrossFitter. I love CrossFit. I only started watching CrossFit games. Like, I never used to watch it or take it serious, like, watching. But, yeah, I do that. Sometimes, I wouldn't say, like, I watch... What other sports do I watch? I would say s s soccer, football. Just a bit. Like, I'll probably watch it in passing. That's me watching it. Do you, do you love animals? If yes, then which one you love most? Guys, my favorite favorite animal oh my gosh i uh, as i was saying my favorite favorite animal oh by the way i'm gonna move on to this makeup look is very easy especially this red look that i love creating it's literally quick and what's great is you don't have to do too much it's not a cut crease 
don't have to do you don't have to shade or blend too many shades like different shades together because the shades are similar it makes it easier to just finish everything up because everything just blends because it's in the same shade anyways going in with my mac blush for the rest of my eye and what i'm gonna do is i'm also gonna wet the brush just a bit just to get more pigment i'm a strong believer that you can use blush lipstick or whatever as eyeshadow but anyways yeah the dog that the dog that i really want is a french bulldog oh my gosh guys french bulldogs are so cute oh my gosh they are so cute like their faces the way it's just like all scrunchy it's like a scrunchy does that make sense but it, they, they are just like the most cutest dogs ever so i definitely want a french bulldog but it's a bit it's a bit tricky because next year i do plan to travel a lot so i don't want to get a dog and then kind of bother people to babysit him or her you know so no but that is like my favorite 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 dog on camera it's picking up as like a pinkish but it does look pinkish has like a pinkish undertone but this is the look that i love wearing so it's fine okay what is your favorite drink of all what is your greatest achievement in high school i think passing maths <laughs> guys no really that was the greatest achievement for me because i used to just suck at maths like i constantly just kept failing maths and up until 10th grade my my mom well, I had enough my parents had enough and they were like no we need to get you a tutor because this is like ridiculous your because guys let me just, i have how many siblings i have a lot of siblings i don't want to count because i'm going to confuse myself and waste time but basically i have a lot of siblings and they are very smart they're more intellectual and i'm very creative although my oldest she is a bit creative she's a she's a bit of both she's intellectual and um creative so i'm just creative like no joke so everyone used to do so well in school and i was the one that was just like i was the one like as soon as i would come home and it was it was the day they were handing out reports i would run home while everyone was like flashing their report card and excited run home leave the report card on the table and then i would run to my room and pretend to be sleeping but that didn't work because if you have African parents, they still wake your ass up and they beat you up. So, yeah, I just, so I think maths was my greatest achievement. I'm sorry, like, because I sucked at it. And when we got the tutor, I was just a rising star, guys. I was amazing. I just want to drag this on my tear duct. Oh, guys, this, I love this look. It's so beautiful. Crap, it's, it's so hot. I think it's all the wine. I'm drinking too much. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back with the pumpkin color. And I'm just gonna hit it here again. I just want it to be like three dimensional, if that makes sense. Like, I want three shades. I want you to see three shades. I don't want you to just see pink. You know what I mean? I'm gonna move underneath my eye. It's a bit of fallout, but it's fine. We'll make it work. Do you want to have a business? I actually do have a business. I quit my job for other reasons, but also just to fully focus on my brand because I studied designing and I love designing. And I studied designing and it's just my first love. So, and also, okay, maybe it's too soon to talk about leaving my job. Let's just leave that for another video. But basically, I have a business it's called rare sparkle I love it it's fully just I think I would describe my clothing label as I don't know glam couture I don't think everyday wear like I'm wearing a rare sparkle number if you guys can sir but I'm gonna do a video with all my pieces well not all some of my favorite pieces that I've created so yeah 
I have a business. I love my. I love. I, I think it's the best decision I made. If you don't take the leap of faith, like you'll just be stuck and wondering why didn't I do that? And I think what makes it even more important, or a, what kind of makes it a big deal, is who you surround yourself with. You have to surround yourself with the right people. You have to have a good support system. To be surrounded by positive people but at the same time you need to be positive yourself if you took that leap of faith you need to tell yourself okay it might not be doing well right now but i know it's going to pick up i know it's going to do this like you have to be positive and just speak more positive than negative what is your favorite scene from movies okay quickly guys i'm going to be using nyx liquid suede it's a what color is it cherry skies and this is just like a very pretty burgundy red but it's more red than burgundy on your eyelids so i just put it on my head and then i use my finger to kind of just dab it on my eyes do you see how <gasps> this makes me so happy this red is so pretty okay that was that was very extra i'm sorry Favorite scene from movies. Oh, by the way, then I'm just gonna go back with my transitioning shade and just make sure that it's all blended and fine. You guys can see it's it's a very beautiful red. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with my Stila. Actually, while that dries, I'm gonna work underneath my eye. If I'm underneath my eye, I'm just gonna be using my Elizabeth Arden Smoky Black. I'm not gonna put too much because the focus is the red. And if I want to use my Mac, I'm going to use my Mac to put underneath my eye. But I think I love applying eyeshadow underneath my eye than on my eyelid. I don't know, I feel like it just pulls the look together. Yeah, favorite scene in a movie is definitely any love scene. I love, well not sex scene, like I don't mean sex scene, but I mean like, um, wow, must you be loud? My help is here guys and people just don't want to let me film today like at all you get cars dogs yeah I love anything that has to do I must I just like romance guys like I'm romance is like for me my favorite part in a movie oh, these dogs <laughs> what we're gonna do is use the same NYX um this liquid suede lipstick and just drag it underneath my eye i'm not gonna put too much just kind of blend with what's already there look how it this eye pops when you instantly put the that little that lipstick compared to this eye this eye is still like power but we like more power guys i'm just a sucker for romance like i love romantic movies so that is my favorite movie scene <laughs> does that make sense favorite movie scene i think they the question meant like from a movie but i don't really have i think i'm just gonna say romance i love romance um uh, i know a lot of people though guys do not like um red underneath the eye but i don't know why they don't i find it so beautiful and i just feel like it opens up the eyes more so this thing, this is here to stay. Okay, then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go in with eyeliner. Actually, I'm gonna be going with my Stila um, liquid eyeshadow and this is in the color Twig. I'm just gonna be putting a little bit on my eye. And then I'm gonna go in with the brush that I use for my under eye and just dab. Because I do want a bit of sparkle. Then why that's dry, I'm just going to contour my chin because I forgot to do that. The pimples are gone so we can like have fun. Like, it looks like I'm putting a lot but trust guys, I am not putting a lot. How tall are you? Have you dreamt of being taller? I'm 1.6 I think. Yeah. I, th I don't think you grow after a certain age. Or do you keep growing? I don't know. But you're on 1.6. I have dreamt of being taller. But then then I rethought that. I was like, nah, let me just stay like this. It's cool. I'm happy. Where do you want to travel? 
I want to go to India. That's my first. Oh, guys, I love Indians. Like, I find them so beautiful and I just love the culture. So, I would really like to go to India and just explore and learn more about the culture and buy saris, of course. Like, duh. Okay, I'm quickly going to go in with my Wet n Wild Mega Liner. I'm not going to put too much because, like I said, the red needs to pop more. So, I'm literally just going to go close to my lash line. Even my cat eye, I'm not trying to make it too, like, long. How do you describe yourself? I think I'm a very bubbly, fun, spontaneous, um, childlike, caring, loving, beautiful. <laughs> Better believe that. Okay, guys, quickly, let's do powder. I'm going to be using my Clarence Loose Powder. Just going to be... Ugh! I'm gonna bake or underneath my eye. Yeah, so as I was saying, I am a very caring, yeah, like I said, caring, loving, supportive, um, honest, um, strong, I would say strong, um, different, because I am very different. You want, I feel like everyone that's been my friend or made me be my friend. <laughs> Oh, with me. They also say that like I'm different. I'm not like anyone else, guys. And I'm not trying to be arrogant or anything, but it is the truth. Like I am different. I'm just like a rare breed. So yeah. Can you describe yourself in just three words? But isn't that the same as okay? If I had to pick, I would say loyal, caring, loving. Those three, because those are what people have told me, and I feel I sh I'm strong. I'm very loyal and caring and loving. What What are the most powerful three words that change your life? Most powerful three words, guys, I can't think of most powerful three words that changed my life. Crap, I actually can't think of any. Wow, have, has no one told me any powerful words? <laughs> told me powerful words but guys quickly I'm just gonna use a, pro a brush that has no product and just blend where I had put my transitioning shade just to make sure everyone is a happy family yeah guys we're just gonna ignore that because I haven't been told that like that is sad then I'm gonna move on to my eyelashes just gonna put mascara Oh guys, this looks so pretty. Ugh. Um, for my inner corner, obviously we're not going to forget that. But I'm not going to be using a gold shade. I'm going to be using the... What color is this? Pink Champagne from the Soap Palette. That's this color over here. So I'm going to be using that in my inner corner. Just with my brush a bit. Dab, 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 dab. I hope this picks up really nice. This is the first time I'm using this color. I'm not going to put too much this time because I really want the red to just be the main tourist attraction. <laughs> See what I did there. Main attraction. Okay, no. Then I think I'm going to move on to my face. For highlighter, I'm going to be using my Edigal Strobing Light. Obviously, my strobe light strobing powder, obviously. I love this highlighter i don't think i'll ever use another highlighter guys and actually what am i going to do i don't know what i'm going to do okay i'm gonna guys know the technique with this just gonna put in the corner in my nose lower <gasps> guys before i did that i forgot to put my beautiful infamous beauty moths here let's just wait we do want this one to be. Let's just pop it with no ears. Mm. I feel complete. Anyways, back to highlight. Just fine. I feel like I'm missing steps. Like I'm going backwards, but it's fine. Cause I'm supposed to put like um blush, but it's okay. We can still do that. So back with my Mac, I'm gonna be using the blush to put it on my obviously cheeks. I'm not gonna put too much because we don't want the look to the blush to overpower 
the eyes the eyes is the drama everything eyes everything eyes everything else can just like kind of like sit back and relax then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with my smudge press powder and just basically go underneath the contour just to make the contour pop a bit more I sometimes like just using that powder to just go over my beauty marks because I don't I don't want my beauty mark to look too fake so you know they're not fake just one is fake but anyways then back with my highlighter I am gonna just do my forehead quickly since the pimples are gone I'm just gonna go a bit underneath my chin I think we're basically done with the face <laughs> then we can move on to lips and for lips wait I just want to check the next question uh, what do you prefer Windows or Mac easy Mac I only prefer Mac because if you are into editing and in the creative industry you need Mac Mac is just amazing um, what smartphone do you use I iOS or Android iOS gotta stick to Mac Apple who is your favorite female YouTuber? Definitely Raven Elsie. People don't want me to film today, so I'm just like all over the place, everywhere, downstairs, upstairs. <sighs> I am hot. Okay, I need to just spray my face and then we'll move on to lip. My favorite YouTuber is Raven. Let me just spray this. I'm using my Infatible Fixing Mist by L'Oreal. Okay, so. While that dries, I think I can just answer questions and then we'll go back to the makeup. Yeah, so I like Raven Elsie and Patricia Bright. How do you feel right now? Honestly, I feel peaceful. I did feel very stressed. This and this is the final look. Guys, I don't know what happened to my filming, but basically I was doing lips and what I use for lips is the soft matte lip cream by nyx and it's in the color cans and it's like a peachy pink and i also use my allego matte flat finish pigment gloss and it's in the color um timeless and this is like a purpley pink my favorite word but anyways guys this is the completed look this like i said is my go-to makeup look i love this color i just like that it kind of brightens my skin up it makes me look like i have that glow and I just like warm colors on my skin. I feel like warm colors on dark skin just looks beautiful. So I normally wear a nude lip, but I thought let's be extra. It kind of matches, well, it matches with the eye color. So might as well do like a pinky. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I am going to quickly answer a few questions just because I don't know what happened with everything I filmed in the last few minutes. So where I left off was... Can you remember the first time you felt angry? I can't. I I thought, can you remember when last you got angry? And that was yesterday, this morning, an hour ago. So, yeah. So, I'll just swap it to yesterday, today, this morning, an hour ago. And partly, I got angry and that was just because of me. I'm, guys, sometimes I'm just like so extra for no reason. So, yeah. It was my fault. Well, some of it. Like, I would say 80% was my fault. Why I got angry yesterday. This, no, not yesterday. Yesterday was not. No. This morning and an hour ago was my fault. And yesterday, like, towards the end, if that makes sense. But anyways, um, next question. When was the last time you cried yesterday? Where in your career do you want to be in 10 years? Um, definitely want to have my own boutique and i want to be well well established and yeah a few boutiques in belgium i really want a boutique in my home country obviously i want a boutique in drc i know it's crazy for people that know me but i do want a boutique in drc i want one basically all over the world wherever i am i want one uh what is your favorite moment from childhood i think just being a kid 
was my favorite moment like playing outside with sand guys making houses out of sand just being a kid because nowadays kids aren't kids like they literally have are on their smartphones like don't play and just have fun some kids are just too deep it's like okay dude and then you older than them and you're thinking crap why am i so why am i so extra why am i so like serious Meanwhile, it's like, wait, it's the kid that's too serious. Um, okay, Jeff Pitt's cat or dog. My brother has a dog, and that dog, guys, ratchet. Thank the Lord he doesn't see this. Wait, my phone is ringing. Next question, I have to go in like a few. Today's just been a rush. Like, I've just been all over the place. But anyways, do you love fishing? If yes, then why? I've, I think I've, have I tried fishing? I don't know. I don't think I have tried fishing, but I would love to learn how to fish because I just find that, I find it very peaceful and therapeutic and I also just, like I think it's something I'll be competitive in. Like I always like winning and even though it's supposed to be something therapeutic, I would want to catch that fish. Okay? <laughs> um, next question. What is your favorite burger and why? Favorite burger? I don't, I, don't, I like chicken burger. I just like that it tastes better than beef. I don't know why. I can't even explain why. Which one do you prefer, Coke or Pepsi? Coke. Pepsi just has like a fake taste. Coke has a very natural like Coke taste. Yeah, I just love Coke. I'm gonna do two more questions and then I have to like literally go because I'm gonna be late. What activity do you do only when you're alone? What activity do I do when I... The sketching count, sketching, sewing alone, um, Bible study, I do that alone. Um, what else? Watch series. Is that an activity? I don't know. I don't know. What has been your biggest regret, regret up to now? Okay, my problem is, is this mouth here guys I talk a lot and sometimes I don't think before I speak so sometimes I speak and I ruin everything so I think my biggest regret is things that I have said to people that it, it wouldn't some wouldn't necessarily be harsh but some it's just like it wasn't necessary like why you should just shut up so my biggest regret is when I say say things before I think so I speak before I think basically what is a common misconception others may have about you? People think I'm stuck up. People think I'm stuck up. That's basically it. And very wild. I am wild in a good way. Like I'm wild in a fun way. Like I like to have fun. I like to just enjoy life. But I'm not stuck up. Definitely not. I am... Crap. I'm not even stuck. I'm that person. I go somewhere and... Or well, it depends on my mood. Sometimes when I just feel like scared, I don't want to speak to anyone, I don't want to make friends. But if I go somewhere and I'm like, okay, dude, I'm going to be here for a while, I need to make friends, I'll just go, hi, I love your dress and whatever. And most of the times people are mean to me, so it's a bit awkward. Knowing what you know now, what would you do differently if you were born again? Um, I would definitely think before I speak and definitely have have started a closer relationship with God instead of only doing it like this year. I think that answers it. Does that make sense? If it were pos possible, would you change your race or gender? Definitely not. I'm happy with my race and gender. What would you do if a million dollars was given to you with no strings attached? <sighs> Definitely invest it to, towards my business. Give it to my family get a house um what else you know help people around me i guess my family my friends mainly my family because blood is thicker than water <coughs> so i feel bad saying that but it is so true like for my personal experience like i'm more like team family than anything so yeah if the world i said two questions but i'm just gonna keep going because i just feel i owe it to you guys because this video was all over the place it cut and stopped so let's continue what are your top pet fees pet fees pet peeves smelly breath oh my gosh older i hate dishonest people liars cheaters um um what else and 
and aggressive people yeah those are my top pet peeves and smelly feet yeah that's although sometimes i do have smelly feet what is the one activity or hobby that you cannot do without crossfit but now i'm kind of taking a break but that's a activity or hobby that I could not do without and sewing and sketching if you could change one thing about yourself what would it be i think to be more patient i'm not a patient person i'm only learning how to be patient thanks to the lord um but i'm not patient so i would change definitely patience and um yeah patience if you if you could remember remember one lesson to take into your next life what would it be to always have a relationship with god like that would be something lesson to take in my next life always put god first like if you put him first like literally everything you go through will be because you have him with you yeah last question guys uh what song do you listen to when you feel sad the song i listen to when i feel sad is what's her name i forgot billy billy something but it's because i never my brother-in-law is always laughing at me because he's like you never know words to song you always just like eh. even though i know the song quite well i just never know the words but it's like i can't thinking of the dark of you you really know how to get me down with your ocean eyes now Okay, I'm going to stop. That's about it. I think I will do a continue of this Q&A since this video was all over the place. I'm so sorry. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this video as much as I have. And guys, do not forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.